Yes! I did it! They're all finally mine. I completed the whole Parker Pen book collection. Even some of the books that aren't officially Parker Pen books. But today, I'm going to share them with you, and I hope you enjoy them as much as I do. What's going on guys, it's Big Bad Brad here from AB Rustic Relics, and today I have a special treat. You get to see one happy pen collector. I finally did it. I completed my whole Parker Pen book collection. Some official and some unofficial that Parker Pen compiled and put together. Let's sit down and take a look at this awesome, awesome book collection. This collection we have Do's and Taboos Around the World, edited by Roger E. Axtell and compiled by the Parker Pen Company. And this is the best selling guide to international behavior. It tells you what you can and can't do when doing business in different countries around the world. And we'll come back to each book and go into a little bit more detail. Show you a few pictures from them and some of the other cool things. Next is one of the rare and harder to find books in the collection. The Mysterious Yang Z, written by George S. Parker. It's a sign, also. And this tells you his travels through China, firsthand experience, and so forth. And plus, there's some really cool pictures. We'll come back to that, though. This book was written in 1937. Yeah, it's pretty wild. Up next is another rare book in this collection, Unfrequented Ocean Pass. Also written by George S. Parker, and this one was printed in... I believe 1935 also. Yeah, 1935. Next, The Story of Writing by Donald Jackson, originated by Parker Penn. Then we have Jotter. History of an Icon. Well, that is written by David Shepard, Graham Hogg, Jeffrey Parker, and Dan Zazov. Parker Duofold by David Shepard and Dan Zazov. Please let me know if I'm saying these wrong. So I'm some of these names, I'm sure I'm not doing the greatest at. Then we have the 51 book. By David and Mark Shepard. And the Vacuumatic book by Jeff Parker, David Shepard, and Dan Zazov. And let me tell you a funny story on how I acquired these books. Now, let me tell you a little bit more of how I acquired these books and the story behind them. It's a little funny to me, and I, th I think you might enjoy it also. Now, as you all may know, a lot of these books are hard to find and a little expensive. I'm not going to go into how much I paid for the books, but I'm going to tell you how I acquired and I actually acquired them very, very, very fast. And I am surprised, but I put in some footwork and I made sure to check my sources. So first up, I ended up at the Parker 51 book. I seen it on eBay and it was going for a good price. So I bought it up. Earlier, before I got this book, I had the chance to get four other, well, three other Parker Pen books. And I, I, I couldn't get them at the time, and I, I missed the chance. But I ended up getting them later on. So first I got this Parker 51 book here. Then I ended up talking to the other guy with, he had the dual fold book. 
Vacumatic book and the Jotter book. Wait, no, not the Jotter book. Another Parker 51 book right here, which I'll pull that back out in a minute. So, but he didn't want to sell them separately and they had to buy them all together. And in that lot was another book, Unfrequented Ocean Pass. But I, So I had to buy all those to get them. So I bought all those. Then all I needed to complete this set of the hardcover UK books, one soft, was the Jotter book. Well, I, I told my friend I was looking for it and he happened to order one off eBay and got two. So then I bought one from him. So, I guess I forgot to mention, I also found this earlier, but this is on eBay, and then I, and I find a couple more of these, so I got like three of them, and I'm probably going to be listing some on our page soon. And then, I just recently, there's that one that I got from the guy, and I just recently, oh, switch it, I got this from the guy, <laughs> from the guy with these books. And we just found this one on eBay, Unfrequented Ocean Pass. And we previously had the Mysterious Zang Z. Let me know if I got you totally lost, because I got totally lost. Or if you stayed with me during all that mumbo jumbo, I'll give you credit. And then last, the story of writing. I just picked this one up on eBay. I got two copies. But some of, like I said, some of these books I have numerous of. I got 251 books, two story of writings. I got like three copies of Do's and Taboos. So soon I'm going to be selling some of my doubles and triplicates on our eBay page. So keep an eye out. Oh, so like I said, I acquired all these books in a very short time. Probably within about a year, maybe a year and a half. And that's pushing it. Let me know if you have any of these books in your collection and which ones. Alright, so like I said, let's go into a more in-depth look at these sweet Parker books. Now, I know you guys have seen these four books in a previous video. And I've gave you a more in-depth look in the past. So we're going to start off with some books that you haven't seen. At least not on this channel. Do's and taboos around the world. 200,000 copies in print. This is a neat book that goes over all sorts of international business policy, not policies, protocols and stuff you can uh, do around the world. This is compiled by the Parker Pen Company with offices in 120 countries. Some of the chapters are protocol, customs, and etiquette, hand gestures and body language, a quick guide to ways of the world, gift giving and receiving, American jargon and baffling idioms, tip, tips for incoming visitors to the U.S., and more. It covers all sorts of rules of etiquette from the office to eating with people and all sorts of neat things. Here, for example, it says, eat what you offer. Some places it's offensive not to eat what you were given. Here, you have thank yous and toasts. In every language, well not every language, in lots of different languages. Don't photograph religious images. A risky language. Actions speak louder than words and often say all the wrong things. So the different hand gestures and stuff not to do in different countries and stuff around the world. Chin flick. Chin flick. Not interested. Buzz off. Head toss. In southern Italy, Malta, Greece, and Tunisia. Tunisia. A negation. In Germany and Scandinavia. A beckoning motion in India, yes. So each region, a hand symbol or gesture can mean different things. And this book breaks them all down. Talks about how ways to dress and not to dress in certain places. 
never surprised her Japanese guests with the gift. He may not be in a position to reciprocate immediately. So you should give it when it's pl a time when it's supposed to be given. So yeah, that's do's and taboos, all sorts of cool stuff. Here we have Unfrequented Ocean Pass, written by George S. Parker. which is a recital of incidents by a businessman who has traveled for both business and pleasure in unfrequented parts of the world. This was written in 1935. There's a picture of the author, George S. Parker, the founder of the Parker Pen Company, from Janesville, Wisconsin. It shows different maps. There's pictures in the books. Let me show you a couple pictures. There's some uh, villages and tribes, tribes many met along its path. And this is the Fiji Islands. Here's blowholes of whales in the T Tongan Islands. And he traveled all over and visited many, many people, fire walking. And this talks about his personal experience with all, basically like a journal. And here we have The Mysterious Yangtze, also written by George S. Parker. And this is dedicated to my many friends and associates through the civilized world whose kindly counsel and cooperation have been my constant source of inspiration. Also wrote in 1937. Some of the chapters exist in this book are The Adventure Begins, We Arrive at Hankow, Sights Along the River, The Great Rapids, The Thrill Every Minute, Traveling Companions, China Marches On. And also it talks about all the different pictures in here. And I just love old pages are all uneven and not to mention that old book smell <coughs> and here's the pictures at the end of this book great wall some boats people of China children mother and child boats along the river called Junks. And also some really great images. And then we have The Story of Writing by Donald Jackson, originated by Parker Penn. This book was wrote in 1981 and it's printed in the UK. The other ones were printed in the US. And Roger Axtell, let's see where that was printed, I didn't tell you. In Canada, published in Canada. Anyways, back to the story of writing by Donald Jackson. And he goes, some of the chapters in this are the, origin, right, the origins of writing, the emergence of of the alphabet, Rome, writing in the Dark Ages, the Middle Ages, and so forth, all the way up to personality in the pen. So this book goes through writing throughout time, from its beginnings to the modern times, and how the pen has evolved along with the styles in the world. It goes from everything from cool pens, hieroglyphics, maps, making papyrus, chiseling, cutting a quill pen, so forth and so on. Great book loaded with awesome imagery. Lots of historic information that is guaranteed to please any pen lover. Or historian at that matter. I'm yet to read this. I just picked this up. I've read most of these books. Read all these four the dual fold vacuumatic jotter in 51. I've read parts 
of do's and taboos. The wife has read both these. I am yet to do it. Like I said, I've got them all relatively fast. And I'm just going to give you a brief synopsis on the Parker Fit, these four books, because if you want to find out more or take a more in-depth look, feel free to shoot over to my other video where I already go through these. We have the Parker 51 book. This is printed in the UK. Most of these books here are signed. Most of these books are signed. And they're in great condition, so I don't really want to flip through them too much unless I'm sitting down and reading them. Some of the chapters in these are The History of the Company, The First Year, Vacuumatic, Prototypes, Replicas, Advertising, Provenance, Famous 51 Owners, Caps, barrels, and so forth. That's about the history, the humble beginnings of the 51, inspiration, cool advertising, breakdowns of parts, who made it, why they made it, where they made it, how many they made, and so forth. Here it goes into the evolution of the range. Like I said, Cool pictures, cool advertising, learn the history of a great company. Alright, on to the next one. We have a jotter, history of an icon. David Shepard, Graham Hogue, Jeff Parker, and Dan Zazob. The history of the ballpoint pen, some of the competitors and ballpoints that came out previous to Parker. And then goes into the Jotter, and it's everything you need to know about the Parker Jotter. There's Aero Park, still there in Janesville, still here in Janesville, on Highway 51. Now it is panoramic. Hopalong Cassidy, experimental and prototype Jotters, History of Jotters, some of their mistakes, launches in other countries, and so much cool things. There's a lot of pages in these books. Well, on to the next. We have the Parker Vacuumatic book. Ah, the sign, like I said, most of these are signed. And this goes and talks, talks and tells you about everything you need to know about the Parker Vacuumatic. I'm sure it's not everything, but definitely an impressive amount of knowledge compiled into one book. It talks about the first generation, second generation, marketing, early years, size of the nibs, quink incentives, and so forth. About the authors... The history of the company. Beginnings. First generation prototypes. What magazines they appeared in. Advertising boxes. Rare designs. So if you, if you like the Vacuumatic, this is the book for you. And finally, the Parker Dual Fold book. Just as good as the previous books. Printed in the UK. Loaded with awesome, useful information with cool pictures. Enough that you can sit down and get lost in this book for hours. Ah, I could get lost in it for days. Every time I read it, there's something... I didn't see before, and has some for everyone, especially if you love the dual fold. It talks about all your imprints when they came out, date codes, nib styles, desk sets, plant pictures, and
and this is cool here, the process of how the dual full marbleization is made. Presidents who use the dual full. Important moments in history where the dual fold were used. This is an overall amazing book. So that's it, folks. I hope you guys all enjoyed taking a look at my Parker Pen book collection with me. I really enjoyed sharing it with you. Let me know which books were your favorite. Do you have any of these books in your collection? Were they hard to find? And did you have to pay an arm and a leg to get them? I know they could be a little bit expensive, but the knowledge is priceless. They will help you solve many mysteries and many problems. And so keep your eyes out there. These books are out there. You just have to do a little footwork. And you can find them. Well, until next time, this is Big Bad Brad saying, Chow Ming.